Hello everyone and welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. As the title says in this video I'll be building my Fire Knight Stage 25 team. Uh, the reason is I was running until now uh, Stage 20 Fire Knight team on, on uh, auto and it it wasn't bad but I just want to I just wanted to try out and farm in the future stage 25 so yeah right now I'm on the El Hades is uh, uh, optimizer and I'm going to be using the optimizer to help me build a team and uh, first find me a one and then help me build a team so yeah I just select uh, fire knight here for the dungeon and uh, I select stage 25 and then I click find a team. As the optimizer now finds me a team, I'm using the filters here on the left to minimize the, the fail of the searched runs and I want uh, some number of battles and I want to uh, exclude manual teams because I want only auto teams. And yeah, once I select all that, I'm going to apply the filter and then I'm going to look at the team, teams uh, once again. And uh, once I find the desired team, I'm going to showcase it to you guys and all of its components. And there it is. This is the team I've decided to use. Uh, as you can see, it has uh, one legendary champion in Ghostborn, all epics and one reset in Renegade. So this uh, me going all, me going over with the mouse. Here are the sets shown, which they use, and uh, uh, down there we saw the masteries, and as you can see here, we saw all the stats. So uh, we're going to be clicking on the copy to team optimizer, and then we are going to to need to prioritize the stats for the optimizer to find for us and once I get all that done I'm going to be building those champions and then forming a team so uh, yeah see you when I build them all right guys uh, as you can see I have built the team but uh, I had to make uh, a big change and uh, sub out uh, my uh, what's his name? The Dicker's Defense Legendary uh, for Ghostborn. I had to sub out Ghostborn for uh, Lydia because uh, without the weaken that the Lydia provides, my Seer just wasn't doing enough damage and I couldn't uh, kill the waves. So, yeah, I had to, I had to make the change. Uh, right now, uh, we have the presets for my auto finite team here, so I'm just gonna go over them in round one uh, in round one for Royal Guard. He's just gonna Prioritize the takedown the big hitting ability in the round two also and it's important that we Make sure he doesn't use his a3 which is a four-time hitter with degree speed as we wanted to open in uh, round three for Lydia, we're going to open with the A2, the decrease defense and weaken. Uh, in the round two, we're going to uh, set it as uh, the first choice and make sure she doesn't use her A3, which is a two-time hitter, uh, with uh, which she's going to open in the round three. The Renegade, the reset champion, is not going to use anything but the A1 in round one. In round two, she's going to prioritize the A3 for the reset and she's not going to use the A2, which is going to be the first choice in the stage 3, the boss. Allure, uh, she has uh, the A2, uh, the AoE prioritized in round 1 and round 2, and she has uh, the A2 and A3 disabled, but uh, it doesn't really matter since uh, her uh, custom AI doesn't use that uh, skills anyway on the boss. And the last one we have our damage dealer Seer, who is going to open uh, with the A3. Then she's going to prioritize the A3 in round two again, and she's going to open with the A1 in round three. So yeah, that's the presets of my team, and uh, I'm now just going to 
show you how the team uh, looks and runs. So yeah, let's get it started. There it is guys, that's my Fire Knight stage 25 team. As you can see, uh, most damage was obviously uh, done by Seer. And second highest was Royal Guard with, hit, with his uh, big healing max HP AoE nuke. Yeah, you can build that, you can build this team on your own. Uh, as you can see I have uh, offense and support tree. Uh, going down to War Master, and on support tree we have Max Master Hexer and Lasting Gifts, uh, in order to uh, extend uh, both buffs and debuffs. Lydia casts, and the stats I have on her are actually the stats I have on her are, are actually uh, the stats I use both in Arena, Doom Tower, and uh, everywhere else. So yeah, I really didn't have to change her build at all. Next up we have Seer, Seer is in Perception and Savage, uh, she has not full masteries, so I can still uh, up her damage a little bit I guess, but I just don't need to and I don't want to waste my time and energy uh, farming masteries for her. She is going down into Flawless Execution because we want her crit damage to be crit damage to be as high as possible in order for her to eat up those waves and uh, we have a support tree with the evil eye mastery for the decrease turn meter next up next up we have a royal guard who doesn't even have full masteries i just farm them to be uh, full enough so i can uh, get evil eye for the de decrease turn meter but i'll probably in the future uh, far master is for him in order to go down to war master uh, he is running on 226 speed 80 crit rate uh, which is uh, absolutely too low but i just don't care because he does the job perfectly uh, enough accuracy and uh, at as much as attack as possible uh, 
then we have our decrease turn meter champion in allure who is running as fast as possible but not too fast she's running at 258 260 speed she's actually the second slowest became up because my lydia is uh, very fast she has uh, enough accuracy over 100% crit rate because we don't want her to miss any of those crits in order to keep the turn meter down and the masteries for her are uh, also evil eye and not yet finished because uh, I just uh, didn't do them but in the future maybe I will and the last champion we have is our reset champion which is uh, renegade she is actually level 50 she has masteries I farmed them enough just just to get uh, evil eye and uh, I have sets on her which are important but not too important because we use we are using Lydia here we have her in shield and divine speed sets running perfectly 200 speed and nothing else really because uh, this team doesn't get touched so yeah guys let me know if you like the video uh, like the video subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye